dancing around, trying to throw a kick to the midsection. Joel Powell catches it and slams him to the ground. Powell now on top again, looking to erase Hard Knocks fans' thoughts of his loss to Sergei Yuskevich, and he lands a big slam early here. Well, it was a nice kick from Frank, but an equally nice catch by Joel Powell. Joel Powell, a, a, a national champion wrestler when he was younger, so he has that ability, and now he's throwing these big punches up against the cage, and Chris Frank doing an excellent job trying to keep him at distance to make it so that he can't land. So Joel Powell, again, shooting in, now in side control up against the cage. Frank trying to wall walk out of it. Powell just throwing his weight down on top of Frank, making sure that he's not able to go anywhere and that he can keep this side control position. Good work here by Chris, trying to change the position. Joel Powell swarming, now taking the back, a dangerous position. Joel Powell can work from here, trying to get those hooks in. This is where wrestlers like to live. This is a position that they work on a regular basis, and Joel Powell's very comfortable here. Joel Powell now dropping hammer fists from the top on Chris Frank. He's got his back, softening him up, could be looking for the choke here, Jeremy, but Frank doing a good job to that point of holding that one hand. But now it looks like Powell's got one arm in. It's whether or not he can secure the choke here, but again, he's had the back of Frank for the better part of a minute and has done some damage while on top. When if you look at Chris Frank, he still looks very calm and composed despite the fact that he's taking so much damage. But uh, again, Joel Powell, this is where Joel Powell lives. This is where he's successful. And when he's in this position, he's, his success rate goes through the roof. So he's not gonna give it up easily. Chris Frank needs to do something to change it. So again, Joel Powell with the back of Chris Frank looking trying to find a chokehold, unable to do so so far, but is scoring points by continuing to land punches from the back. Frank trying to roll through now, find a hole, but Powell puts the hook in. Now both hooks in, look for him to flatten Frank out, and does so, and now dropping hammer fist, punishing from the top, and again, looking for that choke and unable to secure it so far. But Joel Powell, very impressive here in round number one. Good job by Chris Frank in getting his chin down underneath that choke, but it has been, like you said, Ryan, a dominant performance from Joel Powell. After the big takedown, he has been riding on Chris Frank and making him carry his weight, which is also a very big thing. And there's gonna be a warning right there to Chris Frank for grabbing onto the cage. Frank gets up and hears some appreciation from the crowd. And Joel Powell might be saying that he hit him in the uh, groin region, but uh, Powell fighting through it didn't stop fighting because the referee didn't stop them. Also, maybe upset that Chris Frank used the cage to get down, and Joel Powell not giving up this back position even when they get standing. Yeah, Frank trying to slam his body down on Powell and release it. That choke might be in there a little tighter now. Chris Frank is attacking the choke. We know that's typically a bad sign, and he does manage to pop out of it. Joel Powell again, though, uh, has kept his hooks in, Jeremy, has not allowed his legs to come free, and as a result has been able to maintain this dominant position for the entirety of round one. On Chris Frank again, surviving the choke attempt, surviving the big strikes. He is damaged, he's starting to leak a little bit, but uh, Joel Powell continuous with these, this pressure and our official right on top of the action to make sure that uh, Chris Frank is still fighting. Powell again dropping bombs here from the top as he continues to land damage. Chris Frank in trouble with just 35 seconds to go. The referee demanding he defend, demanding he protect himself. And again, not rolling out of it, not getting away from it. Now a little bit of a rollout from Frank, but Powell right back on his back. A dominant round here from Joel Powell. Joel Powell is having a, a, a round again. He, one of the best rounds I've ever seen Joel Powell have. He's been dominant, but now gives up the position here with just short time remaining. I don't think it's going to cost Powell the round, but it's something that uh, is encouraging for Chris Frank and Chris Frank fans. Or Powell and Frank. Chris Frank taking his time again, trying to land that big strike. He has to be aware that the kick went too high. He's got to land that kick to the side of the leg. If it goes high, Joel Powell very good at catching it as he showed in round one. So those leg kicks got to stay low right above the knee. That's where he's going to find success and keep the fight standing. There's a good leg kick by Chris Frank. 
Powell coming in with a combination, using it to work for a takedown. Looking for the standing guillotine is Chris Frank. Only one arm on it, though, so more of a defensive posture at the moment. Inside on a switch position. Good takedown by Powell, but right back up Chris Frank in on the single leg, nice chest pressure. Classic wrestling here from Joel Powell and now back in that dangerous top position. So Joel Powell on top of Chris Frank as he spent the majority of round number one. He was on his back for the majority of round number one and now dropping an elbow from that top position in the half guard and able to really land some damage here from uh, if, if Chris Frank doesn't hold his arms close and, and prevent that another elbow there from Joel Powell. Yeah, short elbow by Joel Powell and you watch as he's trying to push that elbow down on the throat and then every time that Chris Frank pushes the elbow off the throat, he raises it up and slams it back down on the head. It's a nice short elbow combo by Joel Powell. He doesn't have to look to locate because he's got a feel. He's got that elbow resting on the neck and where the neck is, obviously the head right above it. Powell continuing to move from the top. Really working his position here, Jeremy, again, working that ground and pound, scoring points in the eyes of the judges. None of these blows are necessarily going to end the fight, but they certainly set up the potential to end the fight with a submission. Two minutes, 50 seconds, and it's gonna seem like a long time for Chris Frank if he's gonna have Joel Powell on top of him for the entire time. And this is more the Joel Powell that we were expecting in his fight against Sergei Juskevich. And I think this was a Joel Powell that he was expecting in that fight. And uh, so far, extremely dominant from pillar to post. Yeah, said that the leg lock from Juskevich was something that he'd never seen before. And as a result, he was unable uh, to, to counter it. And, and it really caught him by surprise. Uh, no surprise here, and he said not only uh, will he never get caught with that kind of leg lock again, he said now he feels after training he'll never get caught with any leg lock again. And uh, again, a, the dominance from the top position here uh, is, is continuing. It's been Joel Powell on top for the majority of this fight so far, and Chris Frank in a little bit of trouble here now as Powell in the mount, but uh, spread out uh, by Frank momentarily. But Powell now going to look to posture up and work some ground and pound. Lots of time to work here for Joel Powell, and this is a dangerous position for Chris Frank. And now slipping to an arm triangle. If he's able to secure it and get it in tight, he will hop to side control, but now content to just rain down bombs from the top is Joel Powell. One minute, 30 seconds remain. Trying to get off his, off his back is Chris Frank. But again, Joel Powell staying in that position, keeping him down, and uh, the swarm, this is very typical Joel Powell. This is a Joel Powell that we have seen in his seven pro victories. And uh, again, he continues to lay down those big shots. Yeah, nice uh, shots from the top. Again, has been in the mount now for more than a minute and has really been laying punishing blows here, trying to finish this fight with elbows and punches from the top. That one, a big elbow that got through. Lots of damage, and he's, he's turning on those elbows, so he's trying to create cuts, trying to create targets. And now very high up, so he has to watch the balance if Chris Frank is able to get him through. Chris Frank now to his stomach to stop the damage, but this is again where Joel Powell likes to be. He likes to be in behind. This is where he works, and he's now looking to isolate perhaps an arm and maybe go for an arm bar. Yep, trying to find the arm bar, stretching him out as Joel Powell and again, trying to bend the arm, trying to end this fight, trying to finish. Just short time left, trying to roll through and survive as Chris Frank. Joel Powell has to give up the arm. And again, the Calgary crowd giving Chris Frank huge appreciation. And he'll end the second round like he did the first, barely getting out of a situation before again giving up his back. Joel Powell, with just short time left, content to hold on, and Chris Frank is a mess. They touch gloves, a nice, a nice friendly embrace in the center of the cage. Again, sportsmanship at Paramount here in mixed martial arts. These two ended up talking. I was talking to Chris Frank yesterday, and he said, look, it, I was talking with Joel Powell. He's such a nice guy, and uh, I guess you could see you sometimes fights make friends for life, and uh, this might be one of those cases because this is a heck of a fight. Again, Frank trying to come in 
Closing the distance has him up against the cage. And we'll see what he's able to do from here. Jeremy clearly down two rounds. He's going to have to finish the fight in round three if he wants to win the fight. And we'll see what he's able to do here with Joel Powell up against the cage. Well, it's all about pushing the pace and trying to get Joel Powell to make a mistake. Joel Powell doesn't make very many of them, but if he can catch him leaning or catch him shooting in too quickly uh, on, on a, a shot from too far away, Chris Frank can capitalize. As it stands now, he, again, leaning on Joel Powell, trying to wear him down so that he can make that final push at the end and perhaps uh, secure himself a victory by knockout or submission. Well, as you mentioned, gas tank, a question for Joel Powell at times in the past. Does look just as fresh. Chris Frank, mouth open, big, big breaths as they came off to the cage as the referee separated them. Easy to keep your win when you spend almost nine of 10 minutes on top. Again, driving in, trying to land punches. Joel Powell on the other side, uh, backing away, avoiding those strikes, playing good defense. Because again, you know you're already up two rounds to, to, to zero. The worst that can happen to you is an absolutely dominant round that sees you lose or tie the fight uh, in a 10-8 situation, but that's unlikely. And again, it's Joel Powell on the back of Chris Frank. And there's a position that uh, that wrestlers like to call the dummy -o, and when they catch a guy in on a single and he's a little extended, if you can reach around, you can do the roll, and that's right what Joel Powell did, and he ends up taking the back, and again, Joel Powell has spent the majority of this fight either on top or behind Chris Frank. Yeah, and, and in a dominant position throughout the majority of this fight with two and a half minutes to go, it's Joel Powell again. He's got those hooks in. He's got them stretched out. Uh, at this point, uh, it's going to be a tough road to hoe for Chris Frank as uh, Joel Powell has shown that he's not giving this position up easily and uh, hasn't done so so far here in this fight tonight. Well, I don't know if he's uh, slipped in. He, he just has the basically a, a back guard is probably the best way to describe it. Uh, he hasn't locked his legs yet, but if he can get a body triangle, it's going to be pretty much impossible for Chris Frank to get out of this position. And I'm sure Joel Powell, although he wants to finish the fight, would be happy to ride that one out and get a victory over a tough guy like Chris Frank. So again, Powell holding Frank close. Frank holding Powell's hands out. Just trying to prevent any damage here, Jeremy, but with short time left, if he wants to win this fight, he's going to need to make something happen quickly. Uh, or, or at this point, he's just going to ride out a 30-27 decision uh, in, in my scorecards because if Powell holds on to him here for another minute and a half, you got to think that the round's going to go to him. Well, and uh, I'm surprised to see if this uh, not much action happens, if Adam Cheadle might step in and stand them up. It's rare in this case when somebody's got the, somebody's back like this, but uh, if, if nothing happens and Joel Powell isn't uh, advancing, they might stand them up. But uh, Chris Frank, you know, credit to him. He's still throwing punches. You know, they're not going to end the fight, but still a, a lot of fight in Chris Frank. Minute 10 to go in the third and final round of this fight. Later tonight, a light weight title fight at 155 pounds between Ryan Dixon and Jason Fisher but for now it's Joel Powell working out the string here really Jeremy with a minute to go in the third round in a fight that he's dominated from pillar to post well, and here you come with the the wall walk you heard there it is finish it from the corner of Joel Powell perhaps they saw the neck of uh, Chris Frank stretched out but Chris Frank trying to hold on in this fight and Joel Powell has been dominant. Again, Joel Powell said we would see the Joel Powell he is, and so far we've seen it with 30 seconds remaining in the fight. So again, just holding on for defense, holding on to his position. Chris Frank not able to get out of this position in really almost any of the rounds so far, Jeremy, and with just 15 seconds left, pretty sure Joel Powell is gonna be walking away with the fight, uh, the win that he thought he was gonna get. Uh, those many months ago when he was fighting for the Hard Knocks title in this weight class. And uh, again, trying to find the choke, but unable to do so with just 10 seconds left. Attacking the hands is Chris Frank. This fight is over, and Joel Powell will be your winner.